Let's see resonant frequency in a forced damped harmonic oscillator in action. So you can verify some of the number calculations I'm going to do on a piece of paper. But basically I have a damped harmonic oscillator, mass 1, stiffness of spring 2, damper 1. So what's the natural frequency of the system? If there was no damping, it would be the square root of k over m square root of 2. With the damping present, the frequency of damped oscillation, omega d, you take k over m minus b squared over 4m squared. You take the square root of that. Uh, k over m is 2, and b squared over 4m squared is going to be 1 over 4. So I'm going to have a damped frequency in this problem of square root of 7 over 4. That's about 1.3. But if in addition I drive this system with a frequency of omega, then depending on the omega, I get different responses in the amplitude of the oscillation. And the famous response I'm looking for is the resonant frequency. What's the frequency of driving that gives me the most response in amplitude of the system? Well, the formula for that is square root of omega naught squared minus b squared over 2m. The b has to be not too strong. b squared has to be less than 2mk, and you see that b squared, which is 1, is definitely less than 2mk. But the resonant frequency in this problem, if you use that formula, is 2 minus 1 half square rooted, square root of 3 halves. It's about 1.225. You can check that out. So let's try some images with uh, driving frequency omega larger than the resonant frequency, smaller than the resonant frequency, and then near the resonant frequency. So I'm going to start with position 1 and velocity 0. We'll make that a common starting point. And here the resonant or the frequency I'm using as a driver is above the resonant frequency, noticeably above. So here's my oscillation. Let me stop that and leave that on the screen. Resonant frequency, I said, is about 1.225. Let's move the driving frequency noticeably lower than the resonant frequency, about 0 0.5. And let's release the system in the same place. See the amplitude of oscillation there. And now let's get close to the resonant frequency, about 1.225, 1 1.22, 1.3. Let's see what we can generate here. Same starting place. Position 1, velocity 0. Get a couple of amplations. Yeah couple of oscillations on the screen and you see the amplitude of this third wave is larger than the other two. So that is the maximum response I'm going to get out of this system. And that happens when my driving frequency is at the resonant frequency.